case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1956, the Florida Supreme Court heard the case of Matthews v. Lawn Light Company, addressing the responsibility of manufacturers in ensuring the safety of their products. The lawsuit arose when a customer's finger was severed while examining a lounge chair manufactured by the defendant at Dean's Tropical Furniture Shop. This incident led the customer to file a complaint against the manufacturer, arguing that they were liable for the injury due to a lack of care in ensuring product safety. The case ultimately focused on whether or not the manufacturer should be held responsible for injuries sustained by customers while examining their products in a retailer's store. Both parties referred to previous cases related to manufacturer liability and the design of the chair in question. However, the court initially dismissed the case, stating that liability only applied when hazards were not apparent to the plaintiff and when injuries were not a result of careless or negligent conduct. Despite the lower court's decision, the case was appealed. Upon review, the Florida Supreme Court reversed the judgment and remanded the case for further proceedings. The court determined that if a mechanism was required for the chair, a protective housing should be provided. As a result, the manufacturer was deemed liable for the customer's injury. The Chief Justice and two other justices agreed with this decision, marking a crucial ruling in addressing manufacturers' responsibility for product safety. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.